Guys, we have a very interesting video to go through today. We are going to talk about if Funko Pops are a good investment to get if all these guys, as you can see all over the place, look at Pikachu there, are these Pops good investments? Will they be buying us houses one day? Will they be buying us cars? Will they make us go bankrupt? We're gonna go over it all. Let's do it! What's Poppin' Academy? Hope everybody's having a phenomenal day. I am super excited to get into today's video. We are going to go over our Funko Pops a good investment. Now, right off the bat, obviously, you guys, anyone, are gonna say, I'm biased. I love Funko Pops. I love them. I, I've done videos before about why it's an amazing addiction to have Funko Pops. I have 16 going on 1,700 Pops. Obviously, I'm a little biased. However, I think I have a pretty good insight into Pops. I've been collecting for four or five years. We've been doing videos for about three, almost four years, I want to say now. No, three years. No, four years. Oh my God, that's cra crazy to think about. So I think I have a pretty good understanding of Pops. There's a few different angles to look at here about the overall investment purpose, and I'm going to get right into it. But this has been a super requested topic, question I get all the time on YouTube, Instagram. Are these a good investment? And a lot of people also say, you know, the trolls or people who truly believe it, they say, you better sell those all right now, they're all gonna be worth a dollar, blah, blah, blah. Never gonna happen, all right? Keep, keep saying it, it's never gonna happen. Now guys, I will say right off the bat here, just so everyone knows, I mean, you guys who have been watching me for a while, you know this, but I absolutely do not collect for investment purposes, all right? I collect because I truly love Funko Pops. Now, that doesn't mean that when I buy a pop for $15 and it's worth $100, you know, two months later, a year later, whenever, I don't love that. We all love seeing that, you know? But I rarely ever, I don't, I mean, maybe here or there, I might grab a pop and just like, oh, this could be a future grail, who knows? But 99% of the pops in this collection I get are because I love them and I want to collect them. They look amazing. And frankly, I don't care if they drop in a ton of value, just because you know what, then I can buy even more. Make sure to let me know down below what your overall thoughts are of Funko Pops and investing. If you do not think they are a good investment to make, let me know. If you think they are an amazing investment, let me know. Love talk with you guys. Let's get into it. So a lot of people say, I see a lot of it online. I know other people have done videos. I've seen blog posts. A lot of people say these aren't good investments anymore. They say back in 2011, 2012, when they first came out, that was the time to be investing in Pops. Now that is true because a lot of Pops back then, you know, $10, they're grails now. They could be worth three, $400. Some of the OG DC Universe ones, Marvel, you know, Comic-Con Pops back then. Tons and tons of value in those. So people say, if you didn't start collecting back then, there's no value. I think that is completely false. So as far as commons, if you go buy a common that just came out now in 2021, going on to 2022, you're gonna buy it for 10, $15 realistically at retail. Now, that is not going to be worth 100 in a year, you know? It might not even be worth 100 in years down the line when it's vaulted. However, you really don't lose much value in pop from that perspective. If you buy a pop for $10, they, it's not like it's gonna drop to a dollar. From that perspective, I don't think it's a terrible investment to buy commons. But if you're truly looking at pops that are going to go up in value, and we see this all the time now, guys, and this is what I mean. People that argue that pops anymore aren't good investments, we see it all the time. Funko shop drops, things at Hot Topic, Comic Cons. These pops, they're limited, they're exclusive. They immediately are worth double. For example, you see something drop on the Funko shop for $15, even if it takes, you know, 10 minutes to sell out. Once that's not available anymore, that instantly is going for double on eBay, Mercari, whatnot, wherever you buy your Funko Pops. And in the long term, guys, it's it's never gonna be worth less than that $15 on a sellout. Rarely ever, okay? If they drop something like that, it's an exclusive. It's really not gonna drop below the $15 value. So what I'm trying to get out here is from an investment purpose, if you're buying it for $15 and your sole purpose is to flip that one day and make a profit, or just let's just say not lose money even, okay? That pop is not, you're not gonna get less than $15 for it. Realistically, you'll probably get a minimum double. So from that side of things, I think that's a great investment. Another great way to invest in Funko Pops, guys, and this I truly, truly believe, and we see it all the time. I just did this video about a month ago and we're already seeing what's going on. I did a video about Funko Pops to buy now before they're grills. So just like anything else, guys, like stocks, you know, people do research on, okay? You can do the same thing for Pops. So I obviously know Spider-Man No Way Home is coming out in December. Now, spoiler alert, we're getting some villains, we might be getting Andrew Garfield back, you know, the whole world knows that by now. So about a month ago, before the trailer came out, I said, if you guys wanna buy a pop that's gonna be a grail, go buy Electro, it was $40. Go buy The Amazing Spider-Man 1 or 2, at the time it was like 50, 60, 70, okay? 
Electro is being listed for 150 to 200 on eBay right now. Amazing Spider-Man in a good box is probably going for 200. So right there, that is an amazing investment. Throw down 40 bucks for an Electro like I did. Okay, I have it down here, I can prove it. I have them right here. After I did that video, I picked it up for $40. He is now, yeah, you can literally see the price stick on there, $40. He is now going for 150 to 200 on eBay. I've seen it listed up more on eBay for like 220. Now I didn't buy that to flip, I don't do that, okay? But I'm just saying, if you're coming in from an investment purpose, $40 and within like two, three weeks, that's around worth 200. That's a very good return. It doesn't, you don't have to be good at math to realize that. And that isn't the case for all old school or vaulted pops. But like I said, if you do a little bit of research, it's pretty easy. So for example, Hawkeye is coming out in November. Can't wait for that show, gonna be amazing. So that's gonna have a lot of popularity. They're probably gonna do a whole new pop line series for Hawkeye, just like they did for Loki, WandaVision, and Falcon and Winter Soldier. Now the old Hawkeye pops from Avengers, those are going to go up in value. So from that perspective, you could just buy those for probably 10 to $20 right now. Realistically, they are going to be worth double, maybe triple when that show comes out. So we're talking not even two months away. Worst case, you buy it for $15 right now, and you probably sell it two months for 15, maybe $20. And I, you know, I broke even, I took a chance. You're not losing money here. So that's another very easy way to invest in Funko Pop. One thing I will say that is very risky if you look at it from an investment purpose is buying grail. So if you're buying, you know, a two, three, four, five hundred dollar pop, okay, even a hundred, those do fluctuate a lot. I look on our Funko app a lot and I, we have like, we have that beat up Jesse Pinkman. Now it's nice to see, you know, them go up in value. That has gone from like, you know, 300 earlier this year up to like 800 down to 500 up to 600 up to 800 down to 500 it's all over the place so if you're looking from an investment perspective here i wouldn't be going out buying these heavy hitter grills you buy a pop for 500 yes it might be worth a thousand in a year from now maybe even sooner but it's very hard to predict the grills you're more likely to get a better return and less like chance here at a risk of losing your money on the kind of old school vaulted pops between like 10, 40, 50 dollars. That's where I see a lot of big return in value. Like right before Loki, all his pops were relatively like somewhat cheap and then they all skyrocketed up. So those are a few points as to if you are gonna invest in Funko Pops, the good way to do so. Avoid buying grails, buy mid-level, you know, 20, 50 dollar vaulted. You know, before something big comes out, it's not too hard to find by researching them. And just good ways if you are looking to invest in Funko Pops, because Everyone says that they're not, and like, I truly believe you can still make a decent profit if that's what you're going for. Like I said, I'm not personally looking for it, but if you are, there are certain ways you can still make a good profit. So that was just my insight, and now just a few more quick points here as to why Funko Pops are a good investment. So number one, Funko is still growing, guys. I still meet new collectors all the time that just started. A lot of people came in during the pandemic. A lot of people are still going hard on Funko from years and years ago, and some are still just beginning, they just started collecting. I meet new people all the time. Now, when cons happen, guys, the lines are still extremely long. When I first started going to con drops at stores like Hot Topic, GameStop, wherever you're going, originally maybe five, 10 people. Now the lines, they get to like, you know, 30, 40 people, depending on where you go. That's at least at my local stores, even for normal releases. Like this Alligator Loki Hot Topic exclusive, he just came out. Now, I wasn't even able to get that. It sold out literally when the store opened. They had people lined up outside. Now, obviously for hot exclusives like that, people wanna go get, but that wasn't always the case. I barely even got my Black Suit Soups Hot Topic exclusive. I got there, there was two left. I got there five minutes after they opened. So what I'm saying is people line up still for these. That's not going away anytime soon. People get camped out. When I went to the last FunCon for, you know, whenever that was in August, someone was camped out at 2.30 in the morning to buy them, okay? The store didn't open until I think 10 or 11, so that just shows you. A few other things is like the Funko community, guys, it's so huge, all right? And it's amazing, all right? The Funko community is just awesome. People are always giving back. And it would take something like catastrophic for Funko to just all of a sudden start failing horribly because people are so invested in Funko products. We see sodas going up like crazy, other Funko products obviously the pops so that's another major point point. and lastly we can't forget these are licensed collectibles okay these aren't beanie babies they are not people always say that all the time there's not pokemon beanie babies okay there's not marvel okay if there was at one point there's probably like one of them what i'm saying is someone's always gonna love superman someone's always gonna love spider-man someone's always gonna love pikachu not just somebody thousands hundreds of thousands millions okay in 50 years this 18 inch Pikachu is still gonna be just as freaking cool as it is today. 
by then, everything's probably gonna be NFTs. There aren't gonna be any more collectibles. NFTs we can save for another video because I know a lot of people don't know about those. But that is the future of collecting. So right now is the really, really good time to be definitely investing in actual products because people are gonna always want that even if NFTs just boom. So those are my reasons, guys. If there's anything else you guys wanna add, please comment down below. But I truly, truly think that Funko Pops are a good investment. Like I said, I'm very biased and I do not collect for investment purposes. But try to argue my points. I got, I, they're facts. Now one thing I will add guys, Funko Pops are a good investment, but there are definitely better investments to make. Obviously, you know, cryptocurrencies, stocks, a little bit more, you know, you can do obviously a lot more research into those sort of things. So Funko Pops aren't the best investment to make, but they certainly are not a bad one. And we're gonna end it right there. But as always guys, thank you so much for checking us out here at Pop Academy. I hope you enjoyed today's video. A little bit different. Time to time I'm gonna try to do these insight videos because you guys seem to really love them. But like I said, comment down below. Let me know what your points are on the investment purpose. Love to hear people that don't think it's a good investment. I love arguing with you guys, just talking. It's all love here at the Academy. But make sure to smash the like button if you enjoyed the video or if you hate it, I don't care. Subscribe if you haven't already. We got tons more content coming, guys. You don't want to miss. We're going to New York Comic Con in a few weeks. I cannot wait. Comment down below. Let me know how your day is going, how much you love my Red Ranger sweatshirt, whatever you guys want to talk about. Until next time, thanks for getting funky with me. I love you guys. Bye.